Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rag Plays Aiden Chronicles the First Mage. We're just here right in front of the gates of Terminor, and uh, I'm going to get ready to go on in. Um, so welcome to Terminor, guys. It's Terminor is an interesting place, and simultaneously it's a pretty boring town. Um, the layout is such that there are a lot of empty buildings... Uh, not that many people to talk to, and pretty much exists solely for forwarding the plot. There are a lot of shops here, and I'm going to be visiting them all, obviously, to see what we what we can buy and what we can add to our collection of items. Uh, other than that, let's start by going straight ahead. I'm not going to quite go into any of the buildings yet, but uh, the inn is down there. But first, we will cross this to see the only horse in all of Aiden. This is it. Let's talk to it. <laughs> it's tradition to talk to, uh, to talk to any animals we can find in games. Clomp, clomp, clomp. All right, fair enough. And uh, you, sir, you're a guard. What do you have to say? Excuse me, sir. Hi there, lad. What is it that you're guarding exactly? You look like you want to be a knight. Stick to it, son. That's interesting, thanks. Well, we were told, given a very bad impression of the place from outside of there, but maybe this guard just doesn't recognize our colors or something. He should, though. But he's very friendly. Uh, what about you, sir? Forgive me, sir. How do I know you? Sir, you dare not. I I'm the man that robs the blind, steals from the dying. Suffering and grieving souls, forgive me, dead of poem, forgive me. Sir, I have no fear of fire, but I am doomed. Alright. Is there a fire in poem? You don't know? Sir, there is a massacre. There was a fire. Do you know the city? A mining town. Yes, poem was rich. Apart from the glittering mines, there were huge storehouses and poem and green farms. You've heard the of the fountains and the esplanades? Esplanades? I don't, I've never seen that word before in my life. The miners, carpenters, teachers, the scribes. There were magicians and lawmasters and uh, traders in poem. We had physicians and poets, men and women from every walk of life, and hundreds and hundreds of children, but the fire overtook them all. Sir, everyone in Poem is dead. Everyone? There was a massacre. Suffering and grieving souls, forgive me, dead of Poem, forgive me. Sir, I have no fear of fire, but I am doomed. But how did it happen? The crooked wizard. He had a staff. Shamsuk? Only a madman would repeat the name. Suffering and grieving souls, forgive you, sir. Take me back with you. Back, sir? We can't leave all those people to, just to... to... We, we have to help them. What people, sir? There is no one left alive in Poem. There is no Poem anymore. There was fire. It's all gone. Everything. We are doomed, sir. All of us. There is no poem anymore. Uh, that explains why um, the jester said there is no going where there's nothing to find, basically. Um, th that's terrible news. Shamsuk has destroyed poem, clearly making him an enemy of us. Uh, how dare one of the wizards strike out against a town? Uh, he had one last thing to say. You're not doomed. But I am. When the fire struck, all I could think to do was carry off whatever I found, so you're a looter. Look at his face, by the way. Isn't that scary looking? Gold I took, and food, cheese, nuts, berries, every garment, all kinds of cloth and linen. People were running for their lives, and I grabbed everything. Jewels, swords, gilded pictures, whatever was left behind. Books, sewn of the finest paper. Clocks, I took a hundred, sir. And spices, crystals. And only then, when my pack was full, did I turn around and see the fire. Sir, it burned all through the streets. The sky was red. 
and the smoke was so heavy that I could not find the sun. So I dropped what I had and I ran. I wanted to save my life. I am so surprised I did. This is the end, sir. This is the end of the world. Is that all you have to say? Excuse me, sir. Where am I? This is Terminor. We're safe here? Yes, go to the inn. The inn, sir? Where is that? It's here, in Terminor. Tell Tamberlain the squire sends you. I will, sir, but where am I? You're in Terminor. You're safe. There are others here from Poem. They're here, sir? Yes. Excuse me, sir. Go to the inn. Excuse me, sir. Well, I think I am going to go with option two. Because that tells us about uh, Shamsuk. So clearly this guy is dealing from uh, extreme post-traumatic stress. And he's incoherent, babbling. Uh, whatever, whatever he did, I do pity him. Regardless, and Shamsuk clearly is a force that must be stopped. Whoever Shamsuk is, we have not yet met him in game. Let's talk to you, madam. Do not go this way, sir. Why do you stand there? Turn and run. Why should I run? Because this is the path of suffering. Or don't you know that poem is destroyed? Aren't you from poem? From close by, the wizard doesn't follow. And I bring no danger. Did you see, sir? Did you see poem burn? So many are dead. The rest are running from the city. What was the city? In every way. Along the roads, into fields, into huts. Or in caves. They are insane. They are convinced there is a judgment on them. They say... What was that? I didn't hear anything. Run, sir. Turn and run. You again. Turn back. Miss. You'll die like all the rest. I want to help. There is no help. Home's gone. Go home, you stupid boy. Go home and run. Find your children. Run. All right. What was the third option that you had, though, lady? How can I help you? At first, I wanted help, sir. But now I don't want anything. Just leave to pass down the road. But where will you stay? In the forest, with myself. There will be a clearing or a cave. There's room in town. I don't want a town, sir. I want a place where magic has never touched anything. All right. Grim tidings. Uh, you, sir. Get over here. I haven't talked to you yet. Hello, sir. Got a minute or two. A Gwernian. Ah, oh, well, you can't help it. Uh, have you advice for a visitor to Terminor? Every man is part substance and part shadow, friend. Be hopeful that no other man's shadow wishes you ill. Thank you. Kind of threatening. But uh, let's talk to you, miss. Hello. Do you have time for a quick word? I've just been fishing. How are things in Terminor on this day, good lady? My poor little brother, torn to shreds by a harpy just east of the city. Thank you. Uh, wait a minute, you. Hello, sir. Got a minute or two? Take out your sword, lad. I will run you through. <laughs> Just kidding. Have you advice for a visitor to Terminor? Stranger, would you call me mad if I told you I had seen the dead get up and walk? Thank you. No, I wouldn't call you mad. Um, you, ma'am. Did I talk to you already? Don't let it be known, but I've always liked you men from the kingdom. How are things in Terminor on this day, good lady? You know, the people of Terminor tell stories that King Phelan had a lost son who now lives somewhere within this very city. I'm grateful for the news, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, interesting. What about you? Hello, sir. Got a minute or two? Wow, nice outfit. You from around here? Have you advice for a visitor to Terminor? I've just returned from the house of Majo. The poor imbecile is a testament to the folly of naming magic. Thank you for your hospitality. Actually, the actual populace of Terminor is very friendly uh, compared to what we've been told. Um, 
I guess we just continue along then. Alright. So this building, this inconspicuous building, is in fact the inn, just at the end here. And uh, there's a man out in front of it. Um, let's have a chat with him, I suppose. Ah, a traveler from Guernia. Well, well. I suppose you've had a cold reception hereabouts. Nonetheless, the staggering ogre is open to all, sir. Your hospitality is, wel is a welcome change, innkeeper. Uh, we'll take a room. Um, are you Tamberlane? Do you know Ardra? Ardra? Yes, I know her. Why? Do you know her? We left her a few days ago. She told me to stop in and say hello to you. Oh, did she mention that night on the beach east of Port Said? The minx. Well, um... Ardra really gets around, doesn't she? Ha, <laughs> I bet she didn't. Well, some things are better left as memories. What can I do for you, boy? So, the innkeeper and... Talawak, and now the innkeeper in Terminor. I guess she has a thing for innkeepers? I don't... Uh, your hospitality is a welcome change, innkeeper. Um, I'll pay double rates for the hospitality. Double, you say? If you like. A generous offer, but travelers stay cheaply if they have a troubadour with them. Any chance you might, lad. Lovers of music here, are you? Entertainment later, friend. Right now a room is what we'd like. Agreed. I'll hear your songs later. Right now I'll charge the normal rate. Thank you, innkeeper. Tamberlane to my guest, squire. It doesn't do to remain strangers, especially when we're all under the same roof. If only everyone in this town were as outgoing. Is Terminor usually like this? Um, they've all been pretty friendly so far, Alaron. Except for the guys by the gate. Assholes. Terminor's a place just like anywhere else, I'd say. Maybe it is, although... Okay, we seem to be getting somewhere with this. Uh, we'd best get to our room and leave you to your business then, friend. Right you are then, squire. Ten gold, if you please. This place seems unusu unusually welcoming. But of course, welcome to the Staggering Ogre Inn. Uh, so we just slept. I didn't really want to do that just yet. Um, we've seen plenty of monsters on the road. There are some packs of zombies coming out of the bog of late. Some have been saying they are minions of chaos, but I don't believe it. I suspect they are more likely the work of the Necromancer. The Necromancer? Do you know his name by any chance? No, I don't know his name. I mind my own business, and I stay out of that bog, don't I? Why, what's in the bog? Everything, if you're interested in that necromancer. Maybe it is, although... Are there many zombies? People have reported seeing them right along the road. They eat children for breakfast, you know. I think that might be gossip, don't you? I think it's all gossip, if you get my drift. How can there be this many monsters roaming about? Coming out of nowhere, all of a sudden. I intend to look into the zombies myself. Do you have any goods for sale? Not much, but I'll show you what's here. Thanks. It's cool that we get some inter information from him, and he does have a shop. Uh, this is a shop that's very important that we take advantage of right now, because um, essentially we... It closes after a time, after we've been in Terminor a while. I can't remember the exact criteria, but I think it's once we take the next quest. And uh, as you guys have noticed, we just picked up a quest from Tamberlane retaining to zombies there. And uh, we will be hunting those, no question about it. So we have a strength potion, we have a fire flask, we have a defense potion, and we have a charisma potion, yes. Let's take a look at his other stuff. He has a pike, he has a poleaxe. Um... Let's go down to the peas. Pike, poleaxe, spear, spikes. We do not have spikes. No, indeed. What do they do? 
Uh, they have a base hit of 30, they are a throwing weapon, and they have a damage of 3. Let's buy one of those. Uh, a Ring of Healing. So he does, in fact, have Rings of Healing. Uh, very good to have these. Um, how many would we need? We need one to start with, just to have a base of one when we go and uh, pick them all up. So everybody else has um, has no rings, so we're going to need at least like three of them. But before we do that, I'm just going to continue going down the list. Boots of Adamant, I know that we have a pair of those, yes. Boots of Speed, I know we don't have a pair of these. And actually, these are very, very profitable to be buying, and I'll show you why. We're going to buy one pair of them. Notice the price. 58 20 Boots of speed. Price. To sell. 10000 <laughs> This... Our money problems are over. Let's just put it like this. So, uh, I'm going to buy as many of these, and then I'm just going to sell them back to them. As many as we can afford. And this should uh, solve any money problems that we may have, because we're just going to sell them in bulk. That's, is all, that's all that we can afford, so let's go ahead and sell 20 of them. That's a lot of money. And then another 20. And then another 20. And then 10 of them. So we have 700,000 gold right now. Uh, let's do it again. Solve this money problem. And the game is having a hard time even processing our transactions here, because we're going so quick. Sell them in 50s if I can. At least until we get like a million gold, and then call it good there. I should just sell all of them, and then buy one. Yeah, so, now we have one million gold. Uh, that should be enough for anything that we want to buy. Um, certainly don't need all of these, by the way. But to look at it, a boots, boots of Haste gives us Protection plus 1, Dexterity plus 3, and Haste, which is quite good, I would say. It's arguably even better than uh, than the Boots of Adamant, if not for the Protection, but I do think I still prefer the Protection bone value compared to Dexterity. Uh, that remains to be seen, really. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and buy our rings that we need. So, Keelan already has one, so we need one extra for her, two for Beacon, and two for Abrican if we can equip them all. I'll get my, um, my money all restocked after. A Jundar shield. Uh, protection of four, defense of six, dexterity minus five, and stealth of zero. Not a very good, um, shield, but I don't think we have one yet, so we will be buying one. No, indeed, we do not. So, there we go, another item in our collection. And, uh, Spirit Shield, we definitely don't have one of these yet. Protection of 5, Defense of 7, Dexterity minus 4. Again, not amazing, but uh, better than a lot of things that we have. What is the Chaos Shield, incidentally? I think it's 8 and 8, isn't it? You may ask me why I'm bothering to buy all this. It's just for collection purposes. There's one Spirit Shield for us. We're going to do some selling after this. He also has gemstones. Why not get up to 99 on that? Alright, so let's go through our stuff and get rid of anything that we don't need. Five of those. Get us back up to a million gold, I think. Small shields. Large shields. Don't need that Chaos Shield, I don't believe. Actually, yes we do. That's one of the items that we want to keep. Scale Armor, certainly not. Partial Plate Mail, certainly not. Leather Armor. No shortage of that. Improved Plate. Chaos Robes, we only need one extra. Yeah, I think we only need one extra. Chainmail, all of that can go. A belt of life, we are saving that just in case we need one. Rari cloak, we don't need one of those. That can be removed. Rings of healing, we just bought all those. Again, I don't know about spells. 
shielding we need to keep. A throwing iron can be disposed of. Sabers. Javelin. Longbow. Hatchet. And a great bow. And a giant axe. thing I wish Aiden had was a buyback option. It's something that it lacks because it's such an old game. Blood axes, we don't need these. Stealth potion can go. That appears to be everything. Um, now then. We basically have no more money problems. Um, as I said before, I am still going to pick up a I'm going to get to a million gold based on these boots of speed, so maybe a little bit over that. Because we might have to buy expensive spells later on down the road. I want to have plenty of money, so... Alright, I think that'll do us for gold, and I'm not sure if I'm going to want to swap out the boots eventually, but I switched them over just in case. We have five pairs of them, and I'm not sure if we can ever get them, uh, get them again, so... Uh, let's just exit out of this. A new journal entry has been added, so let us check what that was real quick here. Journal. Tamberlane told us of some zombies controlled by a necromancer in the bog. So that's good to know. We will definitely go and clear those out after, but to start with, let's get the, uh, the rings on the people that need them. So we already got a ring of healing from, uh, we can have two of them, which is cool. Uh, that definitely improves our endurance quite a lot. Wow. Surely that should be higher. Maybe something else is reducing our endurance. But, uh, regardless, uh, for now, Aberkin, you get two, and then Beacon gets two. Now we all have rings, and, uh, the only thing we're missing is necklaces, actually. Uh, yeah, that does us for that. Let's drop a quick save and talk to him again. Hello, Squire. Are you interested in a room? Um, what can you tell me about Terminor? Ardra said you'd be able to help me. What do you know? Some say I know everything. What would you like to know? Whatever is important, Innkeeper. Okay, so, ever hear of a, uh, we already asked him the other two, ever hear of a legend or a prophecy or, you mean the wild man of the bog? Um, I think so, yes. It's a myth, I mean, yes, there is a man who lives in the bog, and people often comment on his strange ways, but... You wouldn't be exactly normal if you suffered the loss of your wife and then spent the rest of your life hiding your daughter. What happened to his wife? Majo killed her. Majo? When he first went crazy those few years ago, before his wife shut him up in that room she has, you know, in the middle of the city, I think. In the city? I see. How did Majo go crazy? I don't know. No one does. I never trusted sorcerers, let alone the ones that go mad. I don't ask too many questions about him. And this Majo killed the wife of the Wild Man of the Bog? Yes, and she died horribly, if I might add. The poor man wasn't the only one to lose a loved one, but others seem to have dealt with the tragedy a little more easily. It's a sad story anyway. Thanks for the information. Whatever's worth knowing, for instance. Hmm. Alright, so we got more information to uh, talk to him about. I heard there were some trolls nearby. You know, there are trolls in the hills to the south. Rumor has it they got a bridge which allows travelers to follow the old coast road. I know I, for one, would pay handsomely to have those trolls removed once and for all. They're ruining the tourist trade. How does one find these trolls? You 
You head southeast towards the desert. You'll find them, or they'll find you. How much would you pay? Well, that would depend on whether you killed them all or left a few. We'll see when you return, if I, if if return you do. Oh, I'll return. Don't worry about that. All right, a new journal entry has been added, so let's see what that was. Journal. There is some sort of wild man living in the bog. Chamberlain mentioned some trolls southeast of here. Take money from travelers. We should go talk to them. They might know something. We can follow the road out of Terminor. Does anyone know what I should do? Uh, uh, weird, weird, weird phrasing there. Just, just weird phrasing game. You guys, I want to look that over next time here. I know there's some, some errors here and whatnot. Aren't there some Jundar ruins outside of the town? To the north, Terminor is built upon the ruins of a Jundar city. There are battlegrounds around here where they say the ghosts of the Jundar still walk at night. The people of Terminor don't seem to like the Jundar much. They slaughtered many of us. They are blue-skinned butchers. Do you know about the Jundar city in the desert? I've heard stories about it, but I've never been there. Do you know where it is? Not really. The desert's just south of here. But there's some kind of magical barrier that keeps humans out. Some Jundar mystery. Their magic's different from ours. Different how? Don't really know. As I said, I don't know much about them. I just tell you what I hear. Whatever's worth knowing, for instance. Wasn't a famous battle fought here. Lear's victory. I know it. At Darkling Hills. My great-great-great-granddaddy fought in that battle, you know. Lear had tricked Zeratus into following him into a trap. The, we humans had figured out the Jundar magic and were waiting for him, east of here, beyond the bog. Was our magic that much stronger than theirs? It was on that day, and now it always will be, son. That's how we humans were first drawn together. But Terminor is not a part of Gornia now. Even good things fall apart. Someday maybe you'll join us again and we can smash those Jundar once and for all. We'll see. Goodbye. Alright, guys. Um, I think uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Rag Plays Aiden Chronicles the First Mage. That was a lot of talking and a lot of chatting to Tamberlane here, but he's been very useful to us since he's given us uh, not one, but two quests. And something else that might be interesting to investigate. He's told us of some trolls, and he's told us of some zombies. And, um... That looks like another entry was added here. I heard today about one named Majo. He too had no true name, and he went mad. Will I go mad? Should I find him? He lives somewhere in Terminor. Maybe he can help me. But he's mad. I must be crazy for thinking that. And, uh, we also have the wild man in the bog that maybe we need to investigate. Uh, or it might just be a curiosity. But until next time, I shall see you all on Ragplay's Aiden Chronicles of the First Mage. I thank you very much for watching. See you soon.